Hey guys, so um, today I'm going to be doing this very interesting video and um, I know a lot of you out there, you know, um, you've always wanted to buy your, your dream car, if, if not your dream car, at least a car that, you know, um, will help you move around the city. You know, so whether you're starting out, you know, um, you just finished school and you've got your first job. And Charlie, you need a ride, you know, whether you want to impress the girls or, <laughs> you know, whatever your reason is, you need a car, right? I know we have Uber in town and all that, but sometimes, just sometimes, um, having the flexibility or having the, the means to, you know, step out anytime you want to um, go anywhere you want is also very key, very important. So um, I'm creating this video because, you know, uh, we spent about two weeks looking for our own um, car to buy and in Ghana, you know, when you want a car to buy, you're either buying brand new or you're buying second hand. So this video is actually for um, the second hand um, buyers because um, the brand new cars, a lot of us, you know, especially when you're out of school, it's really expensive. It's really expensive, um, you know, to get a brand new car because of the dollar rate, you know, so um, the market, the Ghanaian market has a lot of, you know, second hand cars which are good for you know, young students or students who just came out of school or parents who want to buy their kids a car, you know, parents who are looking for, you know, the family car because they just started a family and all that. So uh, the Ghanaian market is amazing. There's so much, you know, in terms of um, um, what goes into buying a secondhand car. And trust me, that's so much you need to know. It's not simply walking into a dealership and buying the car. You know, there's a the discovery um, stage you know, um, there's the acquisition, there's the inspection, there's so much that goes on. So we're going to talk about, you know, the acquisition stage. Um, but my blog is going to talk to you um, all about the beginning from the discovery, from the inspection, acquisition, whatever it is, you know. So I'm going to have a full blog post. Look out for that on my blog. But this video is going to look at the acquisition, inspection, you know, test phases that you need to go through. So, um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it's amazing you know because you're also amazing and i'm also here with um frank frank is going to um uh, be not just my video guy but he's also a very good guy when it comes to cars yeah he, he's actually selling cars and his honda um uh 2016 honda accord is actually on sale and he's one of the trustworthy um car dealer guys in town and you need to Check him out as well. I'll be putting his details up in the blog post as well. So thanks guys. All right. So first of all, you must know what you want. What do you want in the car? Is it a family car you're looking for, you know, um, for the kids? So maybe you're looking for um, a hatchback, you know, a bigger space car. Um, you want a sports car, for example, because you love to race, you know, you and your guys, you want to do the whole um, need for speed, <laughs> you know, so whatever it is that you're looking for in a car. You know whether you're a guy or you're a girl what is it that you want in the car what are the features these are things you must know ahead of time you know so that when the a, a guy like frank comes to you and it's like oh this is the honda civic it does this and that but we're like ah but i'm actually looking for this and that and that you know you must be able to tell the dealer or the guy that um this is what i'm, I'm looking for in the car so this is the honda accord right and it's 2016 and what's your budget? Think of that. Well, how much are you ready to spend on, on your car? You must have a budget in mind because cars don't come cheap, trust me. <laughs> so um, I'm, I'm, I have to like look around the car to see whether it has the features. You know, so for example, if you are looking for a car that uh, doesn't consume so much fuel, what's the engine capacity? Is it 1.4, 1.6? 1.8 2.5 how much are you willing to spend on fuel you know fuel in ghana is expensive right anyway so the honda um accord has the echo features so which means that um you can save fuel on your mileage etc if you're a music person like i am you know so um you know you have all your uh dashboard and your music your bluetooth you can connect to your spotify to any of your um, devices you know you have your another dashboard here which is all fancy and everything i mean these are like very techy um and features right so we have um the mileage here being fifty thousand. so fifty thousand. it's not too bad for a 2016 model 
you know, um, if you're driving around the city, you don't need, you know, a car that, you know, has very low mileage because you are just around the city anyway. Unless you plan to, you know, be traveling to Kumasi or going to Takradi every weekend. So, <laughs> yeah. So it, it, it has um, everything you want to um, check and make sure that the seats are working. You know, um, so a lot of cars nowadays have this feature, the electronic features of adjusting your your car seats. So whether you want it to move forward or you want it to move backwards. So it's all electronically based, right? It's very comfortable. Do you like leather seats? So as I was saying earlier, you need to know what you want. You know, do you want leather seats or you want fabric? What are the disadvantages of having a fabric seated, um, or a fabric um, covered seat or leather seats, for example? Do you like tinted windows? You don't like tinted windows? You know, all these things you must you must be thinking of ahead of time, and you have to check for the AC as well. So I'm gonna do a test drive because as part of the acquisition, you want to also drive the car to see how. Um, the car behaves on rough roads. So as you can see, this is not a tired road. So do you want a, um, a car that has really good shocks? You know, all these things you must know. Okay, so we're gonna go for a test drive. Come over. Hey, you're learning. <laughs> okay, so one thing you have to do is to lower the volume if you are playing music if the music is on because you want to hear the how the car behaves on the road right the suspension um whether there's any funny noise coming from the engine anything you know so you want to um reduce the volume so this this um honda Honda Accord is very smooth. It's very silent. I'm not hearing any. I'm not hearing any funny noise. So, as as you as you are test driving, you can go a bit fast, you know. So as you're going fast, you're also listening to the car. You know the suspensions. What's going on with the car? Is there any? Um, noise coming from the engine like the fan belt and i know some of us you know we've driven cars that <laughs> whilst you're going on the road and you suddenly hear the fan belt making some funny noise right so it's buying a second hand car you know you could probably you know hear the fan belt making some funny noise etc and also be checking the dashboard to see if you know the, um whether the, the temperature light is on the check engine light is on all these little little things you know you want to um, check and make sure that um, they are either not in place or like they are in place so you want to make sure that there's no funny lights showing anywhere so I actually love this car I know I can't afford it but yeah I love it okay this Honda Accord is a 2016 model and it comes with a lot of features amazing features actually mm -hmm. it has the push that button it has okay. um, a reverse camera. You, your leg is on the brake, right? Yeah. Yes. So, hit a brake. Mm. So, it has a reverse camera. That's the rear view camera. Right. Yeah, and it, it's displayed on a big screen. So, you put it back on the back, and then you can have your side camera as well. So, it has two cameras, basically. Two cameras. And also, it has two screens so the one here is for the cameras the rear view camera and the side camera and this is for your whole you know and entertainment music, entertainment, music radio yeah. everything yeah aside that it has the sunroof that gives you you know view of, of the sky <laughs> of, of the sky in case the something sun comes to hit your head right <laughs> <laughs> you understand sometimes okay. you just want to open up the roof and mm -hmm. you know enjoy the drive and and guys uh, one thing you should also check for when um, you're in the acquisition stage is the VIN so VIN uh, stands for vehicle identification number and vehicle identification number basically authenticates your your car or it gives you more details so you can do a VIN checker on Google just do um, just Google VIN checker VIN checker and um, there are so many websites that um, can help you 
authenticated so you, all you have to do is is get the vin number and input it there so where can i find the vin you're asking i know you're asking so let me show you so when you open the car door just down here okay so just here okay so right. there you go vin so vin one hgtr two f blah 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 that's really long yeah so it's really long and um or you can even scan the barcode you never know what you also find when you scan the barcode but yeah so that's the vin number um so use that to check the model the engine specs etc um and then it's it also gives you a sort of assurance you know about the car that you're buying and if you're also buying a car from the us you know know which state is coming from because apparently you know some cars comes from um the flooded states in the us so for example florida um where a lot of floods you know occur you know and when the cars you know are caught up in the floods it affects the engine so um you want to make sure that you know you're um you're getting your car from a good state so one of the best states is actually atlanta atlanta is you know um where um most cars actually come from um uh, when it comes to car importation into ghana so atlanta is one of the best states actually so also check the lights make sure all the lights are working the reverse lights the, the front the the fog lights any kind of lights that that's supposed to be there check the windows as well all the windows are working because you you don't want to have the car and then you discover that something is not working so you have to do due diligence okay the car looks nice but you want to do due diligence okay all right so um guys this is the inspection stage where you have to you know go to your mechanic and this is a must because your mechanic is going to tell you certain things about the engine he's gonna have to test it he's gonna look for you know things that you know might point to um, you know a fault or something that you, you should be careful about okay so um, this is this is Nemo he's my favorite mechanic in the whole wide world it's like really really good so um, Nemo is he's smiling behind me yeah so he, he's gonna look at the engine and he's gonna tell us you know what things to look out for and I think you speak three, so I'll translate later, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's about, um, my baby said, like, say, um, say, accident car, oh, not say, will be up for what? Say, and you're serious to say, hey, yeah, or my boy, engine, home. Oh, okay. It's really, yes, and it's so what he's basically saying is, so sometimes a car is an accident car which has come down to Ghana, right? And, um, when it's an accident car with, um, uh, a dented fender or the, the back has been hit a bit or the light has been you know destroyed a bit it's not as serious as you know um, the, the front end or the engine side that has um, that was involved in the accident because of course when the engine um, side is hit the, the, that means the fault there could be more serious so for the back you don't have a problem um, when the accident has occurred at, at the back of